luckiest husband ever. I'm the luckiest husband ever. That's not fair, I am. <laughs> mm. Hello vlog, it is day seven. It's raining outside. <laughs> and today's the day we, we plan to go get our lighting. We're planning on getting our tree today after I pick Ernie up from work and then um, he, Henry and I are going to get the treat, or at least that's what the plan was until the rain started. So I don't know uh, if we're still gonna do that or not, but that was the plan. I'm just prepping dinner so that it's ready before I need to leave. And I have less than an hour, not about an hour until I have to go. So I'm just cutting up my green beans. I like to just cut off this stringy part and leave the little tip at the end, but that freaks out Henry and Ernie when they're eating it, and I always notice the little ends left behind, so might as well just cut it off myself, you know? I should just line these up. Sometimes I don't want to take the time to line them up, so I just start cutting them one by one, and then I remember that that takes so much longer. So I'm cutting the bean green, green, bean greens, yes. That's how you say it. I'm just cutting the green beans right now. And then when we get back from cutting our tree, then I am going to cook them. Does anybody else also seem to like undercook green beans every single time? I feel like every time I cook green beans, fresh green beans, I undercook them and they're still too crunchy. I was planning on filming a lot more today, but I went back to bed after I got home I'm dropping Ernie off at work because I was really tired and I didn't wake up until like 10.30. I felt really guilty about it. And then as I was doing things around the house, I lost track of time and it was two o'clock before I knew it. Then I started doing my makeup and it was done by 3.30 and now it's just about four. This will be our first time getting a Christmas tree since Alice passed away. So it feels like a really big step to moving forward and it's been very slow moving for us. So aside from the green beans, I also made some stuffed mushrooms. They look so good, I can't wait until they're all cooked and ready to go. No, that's the wrong way. Okay, Hi. So since, um, oh, I was gonna show you guys me mixing up the mixture to put inside the mushrooms, but I was on the phone. But what I did was I just took some ricotta cheese, put that in a bowl with some Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese, a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, parsley, of course, and then just stuffed it inside the mushrooms. After scraping out the, the gills, I feel like that's what you call them, but I also feel like that's more of a fish thing. Also on the side, I think I'm gonna make a little bit of angel hair pasta, just like a small portion of it. I tried different lipstick out today and it looks the same. So why do I keep buying the same shade over and over again? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Like I told you guys before, I still have Mr. Orange's cat stuff here and I'm gonna move it uh, very soon. I'm probably gonna just move it today. I don't know where I'm gonna put it really. Um, those are all presents that Ernie has wrapped and those are my bathroom cabinet doors peeking out right there. I don't think I've showed you guys what my bathroom looks like at the moment. It's messy, okay, don't judge it too much. The point is, there are no doors <laughs> on anything uh, because I am in the process of redoing my bathroom. Yeah, I was working really hard on all of this. I stripped it, it's back down to bare wood. 60 years of layered paint on this thing and I got it all back down to bare wood. Except for the inside, I have a different plan for that though. That is not going to be stained. I have like a wallpaper thing that I have in mind. I don't know why I'm showing you guys my fingers, but that's why I'm planning. The reason I stopped working on my bathroom is because um, I was in there and for the hour that I was working in there that day, uh, on my last day of working in there, Mr. Orange passed away. So it has been hard for me to like get re restarted in there. Which is silly, because like I know, I get that I couldn't have changed when he passed. I know that. But emotionally, I'm just like, I'm not ready to go back in there and like do the work that I was doing. Not ready. I'll get to it though. I will. Probably like in two weeks. 
Maybe I should wait until after Christmas. Just saying. Alright, I'm getting ready to head out. I figured I'd do like a really quick fit check thing. Black jeans, combat boots, little socks sticking out. These jeans are so comfy. I love American Eagle jeans. I don't know why I even try getting jeans anywhere else because American Eagle works for me really well. They're curvy jeans, specifically. Other jeans, I haven't liked them very much. But I love their curvy jeans and they need to like come out with more styles in their curvy jeans. This little mock neck sweater from Torrid. A little bit of gold jewelry. And lastly, my giant fashion overcoat. Dark Academia is what I'm going for, so I feel like I got it just enough. I never wear this buttoned up because then it would just look like this, so I just let it hang open. but it's $80. No, well, we get $50 trees. <laughs> and like I said, it's okay, I'm paying. <laughs> hey, this gotta be the one. It's a beautiful tree. I love it, I love the smell. Are you sure you wanna get a noble fir? Yeah, this is something different. You sure? Yeah. Dad, do you like it? It's nice, I like Here. it. It looks really good all around. You want me to spin or you want the tree to spin? Both of you. <laughs> the side that you're holding that's up against your body, it yeah. looks a little naked. What do you mean? You know, it'll, it'll, it'll flatten out. It'll, it'll yeah. You think it, so? It'll grow yeah. Up, you know? <laughs> I see what you mean right here, right? Yeah. It's, not, it's it'll, like a it'll, big it'll, hole. It'll, it'll sink. You think so? Yes. What do you think, Dad? It's going to in. Yeah. Disguise it a little bit with a... Uh... We'll just turn outside facing Stop. the dining room wall so nobody will see anyway. <laughs> that yeah, is a very good point. Sure. We have we have three extra walls, so <laughs> I like it. You sure you wanna get this one? You know I am. Okay. Because you called it. I guess we found our tree. Alright. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I got it. Dun, 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 oh, so strong. Dun, 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 dun. Show off. Yeah. No. I'm gonna fit in the car. Oh, no, no. <laughs> We also decided to pick up dinner, so everything that I prep will be ready for tomorrow. It was so cold that I actually had to button up my coat. And I never buttoned up my coat. So here's the tree. We brought it up last night, and for some reason, the footage got messed up. Probably because on the way in, we knocked over the camera and it fell down. So, <laughs> I don't know if that clip is going to work at all. But here it is. Woo! Our first tree in the last few years. Yeah. Our first noble fur. 
First noble fur. Yeah. We never buy noble furs. We never buy noble furs. It looks beautiful. beautiful. It really Aww. is. Perfect timing. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's us again. You made me cry. I did. I did. Oh, and I, I admit it. I want to talk about my feelings. And I want to listen. And I, and I want you to know I'm listening. I know you're listening. That's why I don't say anything. <laughs> so I was physically telling you today. I was verbal diarrhea -ing how I was feeling emotional, like I was thinking things were, like something was wrong, and I asked a bunch of times, and you were like, no, everything's fine. And then finally, finally, like, the light switch. You finally tell me, and it turns out all this time, I was right. You weren't specific enough. There's nothing wrong between me and you. No, There's something wrong between me and me. I never thought there was something wrong. I never thought there was something wrong. Okay. I'm an Aquarius, and I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm a Pisces. I'm literally, I'm literally swimming and drowning. You know, up until this year, I thought Aquarius was a water sign. I thought so too. It's an air I mean, sign. It's aqua. Come on. Do right? the program, guys. I don't know that much about astrology. No. Oh. TikTok's been teaching me about astrology. Ah. Oh. Mostly about Aquariuses and Pisceses. See. And everything that I see is emotionally closed off Aquarius, and. Pisces partner that tries to fix them. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. I know, it's not accurate at all. No. Yeah. We never do we never have emotionally that. closed off. Yes. Yeah. I'm not trying to fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> what they got us confused with? I don't know. Nah. And you may feel really, really bad. You may feel defeated. You, you may feel all these emotions. And you may not want to share them with me. <laughs> But you should. Thank you. Now what you're saying wasn't fair of me to bring up. I thought you were just gonna say something emotional, like for Christmas you want me to feel less unhappy. You haven't seen you would say that. You haven't seen my list yet. Because you haven't made a list. You you haven't seen it, so I, until you You know what? Brown families don't make lists. So I have put that aside for the last twelve years to make a list. I have changed well, my culture. Can I to make a list for y'all? Thank you. And you have not made me a list. Well, I, I'll, can I take it a step further? Yes. I'll take it a step further then. In an act of trying to be more understanding and part of my wife's culture, I have taken it upon myself to stop making lists. And so in my mind, I'm thinking I'm giving. That's a big thing. How I mean. dare you? I'm willing to do that for you. To give up making a list. That's our thumbnail right there. The luckiest husband ever. I'm the luckiest husband ever. That's not fair, I am. <laughs> open. It's your turn. No, it's not. Yeah, I opened the last one. I opened six. I don't know what you're doing. Ow, that's my finger. Well, I guess what it is? I keep thinking it's gonna be an Aaron Michael. But I might be wrong. I'm gonna say Stanley. Oh my god, <gasps> Stanley. My god. <laughs> that was a good You guys guess. just witnessed that. Oh, mother clairvoyant. You're so lucky when I get into a pool, I just sink right to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. It is a Golden Girls joke. It's a good one. You really used it just exactly the way it should have been used. <laughs> it was perfect timing. That's the end. Thank That's you guys so end. much for watching. Hope you guys had a great day, and we'll see you guys in the next one. I guess. Bye.